Since the dawn of creation, man has looked to the heavens for answers. We have turned to science fiction to explore far-off galaxies. We gaze up at our local stars every night. We have looked to the sun, moon, and our fellow planets to determine their seemingly never-ending cycles. We dream of what is beyond our small planet. On July 20th, 1969, man took his first steps to the surface of the moon. Now, cadets of the 2037 class, you will use the same laws that sent us to the moon to take the first steps on the great red planet Mars. Your commander will guide you through the last calculations that need to be made. Good luck and Godspeed. In recent years, Mars' believed ability to sustain life has sparked an interest throughout pop culture. This growing popularity, along with the recent Mars 2020 mission, has made Mars an incredible subject for science education. In this project, titled Kepler Space Program Mission to Mars, students are given the opportunity to explore what it is like to be an astronaut traveling to Mars. As just seen from the introduction video, this activity is centered around the storyline that the students are astronauts who are about to graduate from the Space Academy. However, they need to complete one last task before graduation. They must successfully land on Mars. Their task is to utilize the Hohmann transfer orbit to calculate their way from Earth's orbit to Mars orbit, and subsequently from Mars orbit to the Martian surface. Along the way, the astronauts will see key landmarks on Mars' surface and learn interesting facts about the planet. Upon arrival to the surface, they will prepare for activities such as crater sledding, dune buggy racing, hiking, and potato planting. This project, which utilizes the free and open source programs Octave and Worldwide Telescope, is intended to engage large groups of high school students from all backgrounds in the areas of astronomy, physics, and mathematics. This activity guides students through simplified versions of the real calculations that scientists use to transport rovers from Earth to Mars. This program combines Octave, which is a free programming software, with Worldwide Telescope, an open source set of applications, to create an interactive program to teach students about Kepler's third law of planetary motion. The main program with which the users interact with is written in Octave. Throughout the course of the activity, the program communicates information through the command window and allows students to enter their calculations and receive immediate feedback from pre-coded responses. Octave for Windows can be downloaded directly from the GNU website and versions can be found for BSD and Mac OS from third-party sources. Worldwide Telescope is the other program that is central to this project. The main purpose of incorporating Worldwide Telescope is to offer clear visuals of Mars, Earth, and the surrounding solar system. The main feature we made use of was the tour feature, which allowed for a descriptive audio source to overlay enticing visuals of the solar system. We were then able to record the tour and incorporate the video within the Octave program. Other features within this program include full global images of the planets and many major moons, multi-wavelength images of thousands of nebula, star clusters, and galaxies, Martian and lunar panoramas, and detailed renditions of the Greco-Roman constellations. Worldwide Telescope can be accessed online through the Worldwide Telescope website, or it can be downloaded for Windows from the website. Congratulations, you did it. You calculated a successful path needed to launch from Earth to Mars. Now hold on astronauts and let's go. Here is Vallis Marineris Canyon. It is the largest canyon in the solar system at 4,000 kilometers long. This is 500 kilometers long in the United States. 
This canyon was formed by geologic faults over 3.5 billion years ago. Flowing water may have deepened some of its channels hundreds of millions of years ago. Mars smiles back at us as well. The Gale Crater looks just like a smiley face. You might have seen this crater in the popular superhero series, The Watchmen. Mars poles are frozen, just like Earth's poles. However, the North and South Poles of Mars are made of frozen carbon dioxide, or dry ice, as well as frozen water, or H2O. Water on Mars is one reason why humans on Earth are so interested in Mars as a space research facility. That concludes our flying tour of Mars. Good luck scientists. Enjoy your work on Mars. In order to successfully complete Kepler Space Program mission to Mars, students will use the following materials. Octave, YouTube, a pencil, a ruler, the student worksheet, the user help guide, and a calculator. Students will begin by looking at the user help guide, which will guide them through the steps to begin the program. Once Octave is up and running, students will start on the student worksheet. This worksheet is designed specifically to help track data and calculations as the program progresses. Throughout the course of the activity, students will have the opportunity to interact with the Octave program and obtain feedback on their calculations. If the value input into the text box is incorrect, the program will return a message stating this and will offer reminders or attempt to address where the mistake in calculations may have occurred. In most cases, the student will have another opportunity to calculate and re-enter the value. After a certain number of tries, three in most cases, the student will be given the answer along with an explanation for how to properly calculate it. Then the program will carry on. If the value input into the text box is correct, the program will identify this and will carry on. Various visual aids are provided throughout the program, including images and graphic representations. Students interpret the images to help them calculate their trip to Mars. The program was designed to keep students engaged, which is why the worksheet and Octave program are so closely interconnected. The final part of this activity requires students to use the same process as used in the trip from Earth to Mars to find the speed required of the spaceship to land at one of the pre-selected locations on the surface. Once the necessary calculations have been performed, the students will be able to check their answer and will be taken to another Worldwide Telescope video which shows them landing on the surface of the red planet in their pre-selected location. After successfully landing once, students will have the opportunity to calculate their way to any number of the other three landings. Due to the unique format of this activity, students are engaged the whole time while interacting with the same type of calculations that real physicists and mathematicians use to send rovers to Mars. Once again, this is the activity Kepler Space Program Mission to Mars, and thank you for your time. Congratulations, cadets. You will now start the descent onto the Martian surface. You have chosen to land on Victoria Crater. This 800 meter wide crater on the surface of Mars was first explored in the year 2004 by the Opportunity rover. As you land, you may notice the distinct red soil. This brown red color results from rusted iron in the soil. As you prepare for crater sledding, please remember that the average surface temperature on Mars is negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit, that's negative 62 degrees Celsius, and the gravity is just one third that of Earth. So make sure your suit doesn't have any holes. Suit up, stay safe, and have fun.